Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1119. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some dates, and we need to conditionally format with yellow and bold anytime 44 days have passed. Now, we're actually going to highlight, go up to home, conditional formatting, but we're going to use a formula. So let's build the formula in the cells off to the side, see if it gives us our patterns of trues and falses. And then we can copy the formula, highlight the range, and use our conditional formatting dialog box. Well, the first thing is we need to take the date and add our 44. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that, because all the way down, that needs to be locked. And the A5 is a relative cell reference. Control-Enter and copy it down. So now we have our dates or our hurdles to either get the formatting or not. Now we need to compare this to today. And there's a great function called today. It will automatically put today's date in. So if I enter this, notice it's an argumentless function, just two parentheses. It says 529 because today is the 29th of May. Tomorrow it will say the 30th. Yesterday it was the 28th. Now let's go ahead and so we can still see the date here. Let's build our formula right here, that same formula again. F4, and I'm going to now say, hey, are you, because this will give me the date, are you less than today? And that's the formula we can paste into our conditional formatting dialog box. Notice, because the 28th is less than the 29th, we get a true. Now, let's change this and see. And actually, we're testing our formula here. And it was smart that we built it like this, because look at this. The 29th, well, I actually want to have formatting on the 29th. And today is the 29th. So what do I have to do? I have to change this. I have to say less than or equal to. Less than symbol first, equal symbol second, Control Enter, double click and send it down. Now if I change this to the 16th, boom. That 30th, I'm not going to see anywhere in my spreadsheet. But just as we're building it, we can clearly see we haven't got to the 44th day. If it's the actual 15th, boom. Now we can take our formula in the very top cell and copy it in Edit Mode, Control-C, Escape, highlight the range, Home, Conditional Formatting, New Rule, or we can use the keyboard, Alt-H-L-N. We want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. I can arrow, arrow, arrow to get to that. Tab, and here's our text box. Format values where the formula is true. Control V, there's our formula. And then you can do whatever formatting you want. I'm going to do yellow and f say bold for font. Click OK, click OK. Just like that, that is beautiful. Now, we can't change the today part because it'll just stay the 29th, but I can certainly change this to the 14th. That works. Change it to the 16th, and that formatting will go away. Now, check this out. Here, we wanted just the date column. What if you wanted the whole row? Well, then we'd need a formula for the dialog box that goes into each cell in the row and is looking at that date. So we have to make just a small amendment. Instead of a relative cell reference, I need to hit F4 one, two, three times. Lock the column so as we go to the side, it's locked on A. That means A16. But when we copy it down, the 16 will move to the 17th, looking at the next date. Plus, go up and get my 44 F4. Are you less than today? Control-Enter. Now I can copy this over and down. And I can see that I made that same error again. Now with the whole range highlighted, the active cell, I'm going to hit F2 and put an equal sign. Now actually, this you got to be careful. Depending on what it is, if it's a contract or something or some situation, you may want the equal sign, maybe not. But here we want that exact uh, 44th day. So now I'm going to populate this edited formula all the way through by holding Control and tapping Enter. I could go to the corner cell and see, sure enough, the edited formula went all the way through. Now, I'm going to copy the upper leftmost formula in Edit Mode, Control C, Escape, Highlight, Alt H L N, arrow, arrow. Whoops, I hit Tab instead. So I'm going to click there, Tab, Control V, Format. And this time, I'll just do yellow. 
click OK, click OK, just like that the whole row. If I were to change this to 16, instantly the formatting goes away. So if you want conditional formatting 44 days out past the date for the whole row, there's the formula. If it's just for the dates themselves, there's a formula right there that will work. All right, we'll see you next trick.